Hello everyone and welcome to our next episode of Raven Creek Park and to our first episode with the new Wetlands Animal Pack DLC. <laughs> I always call them DLC, yeah, but with the new Wetlands Animal DLC and our first video with this new DLC is of course their flagship animal, the Capybara, the all-time favorite, uh, the one animal we all wanted since the release and yeah um, I or am um, just for now I already built uh, this habitat in advance before the DLC launched so I could have it ready when it was there um, and I could give you a video as soon as possible so um, you will see me uh, adjust some things in the end because when the DLC dropped today I noticed that the, the capybara needs well, a little bit more space than I uh, thought and especially for their bathing behavior um, you need a little bit more space otherwise they just don't do it um, so I had to change a few things again in the uh, yeah in the al already almost finished habitat habitat which um, yeah this is why this, uh, this video took, takes a little bit longer but before we dive into um, the habitat itself and also uh, what I think about the DLC I will actually do a giveaway for one copy of said wetlands DLC um, all you have to do is yeah um, like the video and I want for you that you write down in the comments hashtag rip tachet cam um, because of course our beloved tachet cam our first person mode got basically um, went into rent uh, the, it's not longer used as, as we now have the first person mode so write down in the comment rip hashtag rip tachet cam and while you're down there yeah also maybe consider giving this video a, li a like and even and if you are really happy today maybe even um, yeah a subscription to this channel it can only help me grow and making better videos for you but anyways uh, enough of that we are here to talk about yeah the new DLC and I have to say it really really surprised me um, as you see in the background where I, I, I'm planting some trees I'm planting some flowers here and there the rest of the um, surroundings will still look a little bit empty and barren but this will change over time as I build this wetlands area in Raven Creek um, piece by piece and yeah um, not in one go so uh, certain parts will still look empty while others are filling over the time so don't um, yeah don't wonder why why everything around it lo doesn't look as pretty as this and why also why the building itself that we will ha have here is uh, yeah isn't a building uh, but just a wall for now and that's it basically but anyway um, about the DLC yeah it um, first of all it really um, took us all by surprise because we didn't expect it um, because we didn't knew what to expect and yeah we all thought about yeah, a tropical pack maybe a South American pack um, but we went, were all wrong with the wetlands DLC coming full, uh, fully as, as a surprise and especially with the roster of animals coming fully as a surprise um, yeah I, I mean we knew the capybara is coming um, we but this was it. the most uh, other parts of the game of the the steel sea, the buffalo, the caiman, the um, crane, especially the platypus. Um, yeah, we had no idea about. So this was a really uh, happy surprise, and I'm really um, glad they did that. They, they surprised it like that. And I think Frontier is just sitting there saying, "Ha, got you all, guys. Uh, you, you didn't know what was coming. We surprised you all." And I think that's totally good and fair. For them, uh, from them to do, and but uh, what are my thoughts on the DLC? Um, I'm positively uh, surprised by it. Um, before um, it dropped, I had some, I had some uh, ups and downs uh, about how I, what I thought about the DLC, because also about the roster, um, the buffalo, I'm and the Leshwe weren't really animals I was um, super excited about, because simply because. Antelopes are cool, but I didn't really need another one. And um, buff the buffalo, it's good, it's fine. We need we needed more buffaloes, but it it, it um, 
in the same place it could have been something diff totally different like a monkey or something it wouldn't have made a big difference for me uh, personally and but now that i saw them in game in our uh, today's yeah showcase stream where we looked at all the new animals i have to say um i'm really felt in love with them especially the um, wild water buffalo um when it stands there in the water with uh, mist around them and other plants and grazing there it looks really majestic and, and powerful and i can only imagine that people who will use them in their zoos because we will not have them here in raven uh, creek due to the climate um they will do amazing habitats for them and the other animals i the leshwe as well um the female is fine looks like a normal antelope antelope female just a little bit more yeah, hair, so to say, but the male um, really sells it for me with the um, with the color with the color vari not color variation, but with the coloring, the fur colors, black and white, and especially these horns that doesn't don't um, look like typical antelope horn because they are not smooth. They are more f they are more rough like goat horns, and I think that sells it for me um, especially. Uh, so yeah. And um, what you see in the background now is the beginning of our yeah, wetlands house, wetlands building. Um, it basically serves as the place where we will um, have the habitats for the caiman and the platypus. So animals we can't really have in the open uh, due to the climate. Um, and it will, as I said, it will grow over time. So at the moment I'm only building this out, this wall. And that connects to the indoor area for the capybaras and nothing much else, not even a roof, because I will do that as we grow, as we grow um, this part of the zoo. Because when I build for the cap uh, for the caiman or the platypus, I need to have I need to have the um, space uh, um, above to know how high I can go, or, I may or maybe I need more space above, and then I can still do that uh, instead of uh, yeah deleting everything again and um, adjusting it so I I'm building it part for uh, part for part and you can basically see it grow and then the end we do a full tour and then it's yeah it's basically fully finished um, speaking of uh, the Cayman was um, also um, a little bit of a surprise for me um, because I didn't expect it that we would get another Cayman or, or another crocodilian at all um, right after we just got or just got the um, the alligator in the North America animal pack and the spectacle came in it is um, bigger than the Cuvier's dwarf came in that we already had uh, but I have to say I like it I like it a lot um, it's of course it's another crocodilian and you can um, uh, argue about whether that's, uh, that's needed or not or if the spot had, would have been better for a different animal that's all good and fine but um, for what it is and for how the Cayman looks, they did a fantastic job. And the model, especially for reptiles, Frontier is amazingly good with these. Um, they really put all their work into them. And you can really see it. Um, this animal looks amazing, sounds amazing. And yeah, even if you don't like it, if you, if you think they should, they should have you. Uh, have an other uh, should have used another animal different animal you cannot uh, say that it is sheepish made or that they just copied around uh, some assets because it looks really good um and also because i've already talked about it the platypus was a big surprise because they are quite rare in zoos they are not to say they are really rare in zoos um only 10 zoos in the world have a platypus and Raven Creek will be one of them. It will be the eleventh one, <laughs> basically. But um, now that I saw it, uh, I'm just—they are so cute. Um, we will see them here in a couple episodes. But how they move and what sound, like the little um, um, duck, duck, almost duck-like sounds they make, um, the quacking, um, are really really cute and they wobble uh, on land like a little bit like a seal and um, so it is really a, cu a very cute animal a very small animal and also the diving looks really cool very um, agile in the water so yeah um, for what it is and for how strange it is to have it in the game 
it is really amazing um, that they went for it and yeah I'm happy to uh, to build for it indoors a big nice in habitat indoor for them and I hope it will turn out really well um, what are we missing um, the capybara of course we, the star of this episode and the star of the DLC itself um, I think most of the love of this uh, love most love of this DLC went into the making the capybara because um, the amount of animations and new enrichment pieces and everything it's it's just incredible um, they have this we will see you see that later in the real life real time part and um, they have this uh, water tap any uh, um, enrichment piece so this little bamboo um, bamboo thingy um, where water comes out a little, a little shower basically and they sit under it and let the hot water drip on their head and, and just relax and when you see these animals in game they really sh um, yeah they really show what these animals also are in real life um, just relaxed animals that do don't give <laughs> any care about about the, in the world about um, what is happening around them and yeah um, Frontier did a really great job and the babies look so cute I can only tell you babies look cute of all of these animals they are it's really a cute pack a cute wholesome um, pack that just makes happy um, and speaking of water because it's of course the main focus of this game we are now building the water area or the yeah water chill area for the capybaras they can actually deep dive uh, in this game um, they can deep dive um, but I didn't plan this uh, as I planned when I planned this in advance I didn't, I didn't knew that they would deep dive in the game so I didn't make a deep dive area and I will also not change it because it's not it, it, is, it happens in the zoos that you have a, a dive area for them but it's not like it's very common um, mostly it's just uh, shallow water and they are totally fine with that but we are we are building uh, kind of like a little um, a little yeah uh, we have these down these uh, lower lakes and then we have an upper one that basically serves as a water basin um, for the lower water areas where small waterfalls will come out and flow into the smaller areas and I thought this would be enough space for the capybara because it, I thought it quite big and I um, underestimated the size of this animal um, the world's biggest rodent and later I um, yeah when I just when today when I got the capybara when I got my hands on the pack and I placed them there I noticed uh, um, it is okay the, the water need was in the red um, but I thought it would, that would be still be okay because it's sandbox in sandbox you don't really care about what these animals n uh, needs are because they are not real re really realistic um, but I what I noticed when I had them in here is that they wouldn't bath um, they would not go into the water at all and I first thought it was an uh, issue with um, navigational stuff and I tried to fix everything but in the end it turned out it was just not enough water um, when you have problems with your capybaras or your Japanese macaques um, and they don't bath um, check their uh, water requirement if it it has to be at least in the yellow area um, and if that ha if that is um, happening then yeah then um, then they should do it um, if they still not do it yeah just try to make give them a, little, a, a bigger space a bigger, bigger water area and then it should work and as, as of course the water has to be uh, as flat uh, or, um, or for them to even bath um, the water needs to be um, f uh, flat and meaning flat meaning they can stand it so as soon as the animal swims in the water it's too deep um, as, as long as the animal walks in it it's totally fine and they should bath um, when the water is also heated by a water temperature regulator um, but this I think it's the easiest part of it and yeah um, when we went for the animal or uh, well, when we talked about the animals um, I stopped at the capybara we have still have the newt uh, small clawed otter and I think that what it um, I will count other afterwards um, but um, yeah the newt is a cute um, little is our exhibit animal the um, the new crested newt 
uh, one of the smallest newt species uh, that we have on this planet. And yeah, it's a cute animal. It looks really cool. It has some unique animations, uh, which I really like. Um, it also swims around in the in the exhibit. And ju it's not just static, so it's a little bit more. Uh, it has a bit more movement to it, which I really like. And it's cute. It's it's it's, an, it's, an, it's a new type of exhibit, so it's also a new exhibit style, which I, which I always um, find uh, uh, which I always find interesting because they don't they tend to be looking all the same. But and this is a new one, looking more like a swamp. And uh, but yeah, uh, but I think we can. Oh, I forgot the crane, of course. No, I, I just remembered it. Um, we can also talk about one of my two favorite animals in this pack next to the capybara, which are um, the small Asian small clawed otter as well as the red crowned crane. And starting with the otter, they are just adorable. Um, if you ever, if you can imagine an, an, a, a cute otter in your head, this is what the small clawed otter looks like. They are just so adorable. It's unbelievable. Um, Wow, and there are noises, and when they stand up um, and look around, it's it's, it's really um, a wholesome animal, a cute animal, and they really captured this cuteness. And and yeah, they are also they are small. I don't know what what else to say, but these, these uh, if you wanted, um, if you don't know if you to buy this pack, just buy it because of the otter and the capybara, and you will be happy. For the rest of your life, <laughs> basically, um, because these animals are just wholesome um, and less cute, but more on the cool side, um, if I say it so, uh, is the red crowned crane, our first new bird since the Africa DLC. Um, if we if we count that, <laughs> if you count penguins as birds, <laughs> but are really flying bird, not flying because they can't fly so far, but our big bird. Um, they use mostly the um, flamingo um, the flamingo rig and a few of the animations but they also have a, hu uh, a huge range of new uh, of new specific animations just for them and as some uh, as someone said in my stream they are really good for making or for creating atmosphere in your zoo because they are very vocal. Um, they make a lot of sounds, a lot of um, clapping with their um, with their beaks and then some, cr um, they shout a little bit around, and it looks really cool seeing them, um, yeah, wandering through the water, um, and especially um, when they are mating. Um, so I could highly encourage you to turn on mating if you play in sandbox, if not for the babies, which are really cute, then only for the mating animation because the dance they do and the jump above. Uh, yeah, one jumps above the other one in this in this animation, and it looks really cool. And a lot like a lot of work went into it, and yeah, I in um in total I have to say this pack while not um while not uh, yeah having lots of pieces and everything, it has a really a nice diverse um var variety of animals and. Especially animals from all different continents, from all different, re from a few different regions. Most of them are tropical, but in uh, in, uh, in total, these animals, most of them are just cute, wholesome, friendly-looking animals. Most of them, even guests can walk into. I think, um, yeah, six out of no, no, five out of eight guests can enter the habitat. Uh, the only ones be not being able being the crocodile and the buffalo, and as well as the newt. But yeah, as this pack. I have to say, chapeau to Frontier, really great job you, what you did there, guys. Um, it's good, it's it's really good. Uh, as For an animal pack, I think it comes, it is now, I would say, when we speak about animal packs, so we only have three at the moment, uh, it would be on, um, yeah, on place one uh, alongside the North America animal pack, um, because it's really a diverse and nice combination of animals and stuff. I mean, we even got some new free plants in the update uh, with two new wetlands wetlandish plants uh, and we also get and made some amazing looking um, yeah murals and animal pictures uh, with the DLC so it's really cool it's really really cool what they did and I can only encourage you to buy it if you have the money or maybe you win it in, in our giveaway um, yeah um, I 
Did I say it? I hope I, I did forgot to say it. Um, the giveaway, I will uh, announce the winner in the next video. Uh, yeah, in next video, next week, I will announce the winner and then I will talk to them how they can reach out to me um, in order f uh, to get the prize, to get um, the... Uh, yeah, the, the DLC for themselves. I will also put it in the, down in the description if I forgot to say it. In the, uh, if, I think because I think I forgot to say it uh, during the an initial announcement. Uh, I will also put it in the description. <laughs> yeah, this typical me. It, it's late. It was a long day with a lot of excitement stuff. But yeah, um, I will now leave you for the rest. I, I don't know uh, how much time do we have. Um, I will leave you to the music and then I see you in the real life. In real time part so see you at the end of the video <laughs>
uh, stay safe and always remember you are loved by us here and you matter to us so see you next video bye bye